Here comes the storm What's going on you guys, D Machine here, and I'm bringing you guys a start of a series, the start of something epic. So, in this series, I'm going to be educating you guys on every class in this game. Every class in World of Warcraft, so you guys can better understand what cooldowns to look out for, what defensive cooldowns to look out for, um, what special abilities, what what do classes have to offer. And with, your, with this newfound knowledge that you guys will have, bringing this into Arena will be very important. Um, so the first cl class that I'm going to talk about today is Hunters. All three specs today, um, and I'm going to be making uh, a video for every class and a video every day for this. So I want to talk about Hunters today, and the reason why I picked Hunters to start with is because of how relevant they are right now. I mean, at 22, 2300 MMR, I see them all the fucking time. And uh, so we'll jump right into the defensive cooldowns. So the very first thing I want to talk about, which I think is the most important thing off hunters have to offer other than the ridiculous amount of instant CC, is Roar of Sacrifice. This is an ability that the pet offers that reduces crit by 100%. This is ridiculous guys, there's so many classes in this game that rely on getting those crits for kills. Um, if Roar of Sacrifice is probably the biggest reason why a lot of hunters don't make it big or don't uh, try to get Gladiator or even a higher rating is because they're using this incorrectly or sometimes I've seen hunters not even use it. I've been to 2100 MMR with a hunter who didn't even know he had it. Uh, I like to play with everyone. I give everyone a shot. <laughs> but um so roar sacrifice is definitely ability that needs to be taken into consideration familiarize yourself with the icon and understand when it's up do not burst into a roar sacrifice it's a big deal if you do that um you won't get nearly as much pressure at all if you burst into it especially if you're a warrior or a freaking frost mage who completely rely on critting uh that's a big deal so roar sacrifice understand it uh, hunters use it better and it's a shorter cooldown if you're roar sacrificing a, a, a target and you see skull banner down you're basically negating that dude's damage on that on that target big deal all right and then obviously the other uh, defensive cooldown hunters I have to offer is the Terrence now they get two because they have readiness to reset that cooldown but the Terrence isn't necessarily as big as a cooldown as Roar Sacrifice and it's because of the dot damage and things like that when you're into Terrence I feel like it's definitely flawed um, something to take into consideration with the Terrence is um, mirroring blades the glyph um, if they grab this glyph they can reflect things back at people with the Terrence so that's kind of nifty you can reflect the poly back or whatever I don't know why someone tried me trying to polymorph a hunter while he's into Terrence, but hey, it could happen, I guess. Or you could do it like mid-cast. It's kind of neat, but pretty silly, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, you have some just some better glyphs to go, like camouflage glyph or explosive trap glyph. There's just other glyphs that I think hunters will probably prioritize over that one. Um, and another defensive cooldown, or not necessarily defensive cooldown, but defensive uh, hunters have to offer is Beast Mastery hunters have... Um, their off healing from their pet and then you also have the healing of chimera shot with marksman hunters so there's that i mean other than roar sacrifice and deterrence there's not much else that you really need to look out for um but uh yeah so let's talk a little bit about offensive cooldowns now they only have a couple stampede and rapid fire is really what's uh what you need to look out for familiarize yourself with these icons and understand when they're bursting if you use your defensive cooldowns like the small defensive cooldowns as soon as you see their offensive cooldowns go up this will greatly increase your chances of um, preventing a bubble or preventing a big defensive cooldown to be used so just remember that and use your cooldowns your defensive cooldowns wisely and efficiently and you will eventually pull out ahead if done correctly and also avoid CC I'll, uh, I'll get your healer out of uh, out of everything and so that's the next thing I want to talk about is hunter crowd control what they're famous for what they're most annoying for Hunter Crowd Control, they have a shit ton of things. They have um, a 2 or 3 second uh, CC from their pet. They have a Wurven Sting. They have a Blanket Silence, Marksman Hunters do, which is the most common right now. They have a Blanket si Silence, which is a silencing shot. And then they also have their infamous Scatter Trap. 
Um, now, a lot of hunters will get creative with this. They obviously know that in the current state of the game, people need to eat traps to win, right? So they're not going to just scatter and trap anymore. I mean, if they do and they get it off, shame on you. Um, unless you know you're about to sacrifice it, I mean. Um, but uh, take into consideration that they can trap off of just about anything. They can trap off of running at a target, which is a, which is a pretty fancy way of doing it, but this is becoming more and more common. Running at their target that they want to trap and disengaging so it webs them. And then trapping on the disengaged web. Um, that's probably the most, uh, the most common trick I've seen people. I often seen like my hunter that I'm playing with now, he likes to scatter and then put an explosive trap down and watch them all try to eat it and get knocked all away. It's pretty entertaining and sometimes that knock can be great, like especially in uh, Blades of Zarina and stuff like that. But uh, also understand this guys, as a retribution paladin, you can get them out of literally every hunter CC. They need to cover rep paladins to be able to, to CC a healer efficiently. You can bop a scatter, you can cleanse a Wervin Sting, and you can hand a sacrifice a trap. Basically everything. And you also, on top of it all, you can aura mastery off a silencing shot unless it was done in cast. So, I mean, as if you're not getting cross CC'd, you can get them out of basically everything. Take that into consideration, and also what I like to do if they're not training my healer, is, or they're not going to be training uh, my hunter to the ground and we have a, real, a lot of offensive pressure, I like to bop them out of scatters. Something that's very situational, uh, I don't recommend it if you're not fast with your key bindings, but uh, it's just something to take into consideration. Um, another thing that I see a lot of hunters not necessarily using to its full efficiency is Master's Call or uh, their immunity. They basically have this ability that uh, makes them immune to any slows for like, it's actually fantastic and I think a lot more hunters need to use it. Um, especially against like teams like me. Um, what else do I got? Um, so I guess I'll just talk about some tips and tricks when dueling a hunter. Now when I duel hunter, um, I obviously get my guardian out relatively early to try to get the stacks going. But I do not pop cooldowns into Roar Sacrifice. If they hold that Roar Sacrifice the entire time, I will continue to hodge and blind them on cooldown until they have to use it. So if I hodge them, they're probably going to trinket instantly. If I hodge a target, they usually trinket just about instantly, or they sit it and then deter afterwards. But uh, I do not pop cooldowns into my uh, into my target until I get Roar Sacrifice. So the way that I start my duel is I get my Guardian out. I even waste my entire Guardian's duration until he uses his Roar Sacrifice. It's very important. Um, so I'll hit a tar I'll hit my Hunter. And also, take use your bubble as a trinket. Do not use it as a reset button because they nerfed our mana pool down. And unless you're healing with procs and getting and getting that many procs uh, while on a kiting hunter is kind of difficult, you aren't going to be able to reset your health over and over and over again. It's going to be a limited fight. So generally what I do against hunters is I start off by getting some stacks of my guardian, hodging them. They usually trinket. When I get Roar Sacrifice, I put them into a blind. And then that usually eats up majority of the duration of our sacrifice. Right out of the blind, I like to go ahead and pop my cooldowns and put execution sentence on first, because even if they deterrence, the execution sentence will still continue to fall on them. And then soon after that, after the deterrence and everything, uh, my hodge is usually back up, and they already had their trinket from the first hodge. Um, that's usually how I end the fights. There, I mean, if they if they're good, they'll cut you to a certain extent. They'll try to silence you while you're uh, while you're rooted to avoid uh, you're giving yourself freedom, which is why I often preemptively give myself freedom before I even have a concussive shot on me or a silencing shot on me. I am using freedom because I have two of them. I usually go um, clemency against them when it comes to duels, and when it comes to my glyphs, I always go Templar's verdict, uh, burden of guilt and uh, the melee wall glyph. And those are the glyphs that I usually use against uh, hunters. Against any other melee, I usually go um, short duration wall and bubble. But against hunters, I go clemency for the double freedom. And remember, when they silencing shot you, you can or master it off instantly and give yourself freedom. They're often going to try to silence you to snare you in place. So I like to preemptively use my freedom, so they're using global cooldowns on trank shot. Which is another big ability that I missed, but I'll talk about very briefly right now, is that they do have a offensive dispel. 
they good hunters before while well, game was kind of like in its uh, limbo period before everyone connects they'll sit there and they'll trank shot the kill target or any target they really can to get buffs off so for example when big buffs pop up it's very easy to get them off quickly Trank shot is the ability and it's a dispel and I think that's another thing that a lot of hunters don't use necessarily as efficiently as they should. I mean taking off uh, some hots or even taking off like a bop is uh, more important than doing damage majority of the time. Uh, also as a paladin myself, you gotta understand they are melee damage but if you bop yourself they can still do damage like arcane shot and chimera shot through your bop. Majority of that is magic damage. So just take that into consideration you are not completely safe when bots that's about all i really have guys so you got a dueling guide out of me and you also got a whole bunch of information about hunters a defensive offensive cc basically every utility a hunter has that you need to know when facing a hunter you should know now if you have any questions or if i missed anything please let me know in the comments below it helps me become a better player personally and i am always open to friendly criticism <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this guide, guys, and stay tuned for the next guide. Say in the comments below what class you want next, and that will be the class that I, uh, I make. Alright, D-Machine Blast Off. Later.